Things usually go smoothly if you try to refresh pivot tables, but sometimes you'll see an error message. I'm going to do a refresh all, and here's an error message telling me that a field name is not valid, and another message saying that pivot table reports can't overlap. So we'll take a look at how you can deal with that kind of error and a macro that you can use from my website that will list all the pivot tables with details to help you with troubleshooting. This is Deborah Dalgleish from Contextures.com. This is the sample workbook that you can download from my website and it's got three sheets with data and three sheets with pivot tables. And again, we'll see what happens when we try to do a refresh all. So the first message is complaining that a field name is not valid. We must use data that's organized in a list with labeled columns and if you're changing the name of a field you must type a new name for the field. So we'll click OK to that one. And then this one appears, a pivot table report cannot overlap another pivot table report. And those in this workbook might not be hard to track down, but if you've got a larger workbook with many pivot tables, it can be tough to know where to start and you'll waste lots of time looking for things. This sample file has a macro in it that I'm going to use to get details on all the pivot tables in this workbook. And to run the macro, I'll go to the View tab and click Macros. And the one I want is List Workbook Pivot Tables Details. And I'll run that. And it puts a new sheet into my workbook, shows all the sheets that have pivot tables, how many on each sheet, the names, the range where that pivot table is located, and that has a hyperlink, so if you want to investigate, you can click and get there quickly. Then it shows us how many pivot tables are somewhere within the same rows as this pivot table. So there were two other pivot tables in the same rows, and if I go look at that, so here's the pivot table, and yes, indeed, there are two others in the same rows, so that might be causing the problem. We'll go back to the sheet and some pivot tables have other pivot tables that are sharing columns. So if the pivot table is going to get longer, then that might be causing a problem. So we'll go and look at these two. So yes, if this, if we add a lot more regions that might bump down and, and run in and try and overlap the other one. The other information here is telling us what pivot cache they use, where the source data is, how many records, and then here's something that will help with that field name problem. So we've got 10 columns or 9, 10, and then how many headings are there in those tables. So here we've got all 10 filled, but here we've only got 8 headings and we've got nine columns. So that is a problem. Those are marked with an X anytime there's a difference. So we should go and look at these. It's on the new data sheet, starting in row one, column one. And I can see that there are headings. Oh, and there's one missing. And sometimes you can have columns if they're narrow. It might look like there's something in one column, but there really isn't. So somehow, the name of this column, which is city, has been deleted. So if I type city, that should fix our problem with the headings. So I'm going to refresh again, and now we're not getting that error about the field names, but we still have the overlap problem. So if I go back to my sheet, it tells me that there's some overlap on this pivot A sheet. If I look here, these are all based on the same data. So if I look at that data, I can see that we've got 2017, 18, and 19. There's just one row of 19, so we're just starting to add data there, and it's going to make our pivot table bigger. So here we've got years, and now if it's trying to add another year, it won't fit because there are pivot tables beside it. Now if I move those pivot tables down, or preferably move them to 
a sheet of their own so we don't end up with overlaps. Now I'll try and refresh again and it now has room to expand so we've fixed that overlap problem. So just a quick way that you can do some troubleshooting with pivot tables is go to my contextures.com site. I'm going to have a link below the video and you can download this free workbook that has the macro that will help you list all your pivot tables and see if there's any problem that might be stopping the refresh. For more Excel tips and tutorials, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.